Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Stupendous Wave, and in this video we'll be doing something different. We'll be reviewing the green Tyrannosaurus Rex Bashers and Viders variant from the Jurassic World Hasbro toy line. Now, I haven't seen a lot of reviews for this guy out there, although he is in stores, or she, if this is... Well, you know, it would be a he because it's got the green color scheme, which of course makes it a male based on the Jurassic Park franchise. And based on how bright this is, I'd say this is basically a juvenile because, as we know, all the T-Rexes from what we've seen, the older they get, the darker in color they get, with, of course, seeing Rexy being that really, really vibrant tan color in the first movie. And then by Jurassic World, she's more of a brown color. And then, of course, we saw in Jurassic Park 3, there was more of a bright green T-Rex. And then we saw the buck, which was in The Lost World, which we can all assume to be older, was a darker green. So this is a younger T-Rex, according to the Jurassic Park franchise. Of course, a lot of people have called this the Mountain Dew T-Rex, obviously, because of the color scheme being similar to the fountain drink. So yes, this is a repaint of the Bashers and Biters original T-Rex, which we did get, and I have mine right here. Here we go. So as you can see, it's just a repaint of this. This is the exact same sculpt of it. So, real quick, let's take a look at the packaging. Top right corner, we have Rexy, uh, of course the figure here in this nice packaging. You have what looks to be little DNA strands there. Tyrannosaurus Rex, ages four and up. Jurassic World logo on the back. We get an actually really well painted uh, version of the figure. It looks really, really nice compared to what we actually got. Which, the actual figure we got isn't terrible, it's definitely unique, but this is definitely better painted. Um, I wish that Hasbro had given us this. At the top it just says Tyrannosaurus Rex, um, a ferocious fight for survival, Tyrannosaurus Rex at the bottom, chomping attack, again we get the Indominus Rex skin up here, and at the top on the sides we get Jurassic World, Jurassic World, and on the bottom, it is advertising the Stegoceratops repaint, the Allosaurus, and the Spinosaurus. So yeah, now that we've taken a look at the packaging, let's go ahead and get the Mountain Dew T-Rex out of its packaging, or the Juvenile T-Rex, whatever you guys want to call it. So here is the green T-Rex out of the packaging, looking alright. I mean, this figure, basically a lot of people that are watching this reviews, this review have seen the original reviews for this T-Rex, so we're not really going to focus a lot on the sculpt here because this, the main like lure for getting this figure is of course the paint job and the new variant that we get here. So yes, for a paint job, you know, you can tell that they use cheaper plastic here, of course it's shiny. These are different types of plastic, I would have preferred if they had used this plastic the whole time. We get the JW logo, which is on all of the Bashers and Biters. The Dino Damage, which is the exact same as the regular Bashers and Biters T-Rex. And uh, as far as paint, you do get a little paint variation at the bottom. It's definitely a brighter green color. Then on the top, it gets progressively darker, although not dark enough. I think that if they had just painted this figure a darker green, more people would want this. You could use it as your Buck T-Rex from the Lost World, and you could have your uh, two T-Rex, your little T-Rex family here. You could maybe buy one of the smaller figures from, uh, I believe it was the Dress Park 3 line, and you could have your little juvenile T-Rex there, and that could be the Lost World family, but instead they decided to go way too green on the paint job, and I just think it wouldn't have cost them any less money if they had just gone a darker green, and I think it would have looked a lot better. But anyway, let's not talk about what we didn't get, let's focus on what we did get. Of course, there's not very much paint detail. Of course, each of the teeth seem to be painted pretty well, uh, of course, with the teeth color as they should be. The interior of the, interior of the mouth looks good. It's got that pink color on the top. You get some dark paint there. And for the toes are painted, the arms are not painted, but the sculpt, like I said, I think it all looks good in my earlier reviews, except for the head is way too large. Now for the action feature, it's the same as the other Bashers and Biters T-Rex. You move this tail that way and the jaw will open. I believe my other T-Rex, uh, my regular Rexy one, works better. But you move it side to side and the mouth will open, 
mine opens slightly and if you move it up and down the head will move up and down so nothing really special now let's talk about the big complaint that all of the bashes and biters have and all of the Jurassic World toys have in general and that is the screw holes now I don't want to be a dead horse because every review out there will complain about the screw holes but you guys still have to see that there are indeed still screw holes here it looks like we have two on the neck and two in the torso area and one near the back now of course you get some branding stuff there and some numbers so yeah that's really about it it's the exact same sculpt as the brown t-rex I still don't hate the figure I like the figure I think that it can go well with this if you just have kind of a younger t-rex family of course I did commend these toys for being able to stand in all different poses you put it down like that Let me adjust the camera you put it down like that and it can still stand straight you put it up high and it will stand straight uh, or it won't fall over and that's something that I think that this T-Rex mold has done a very good job on and that they have improved on and that's really the big thing that I can commend with this figure and overall it's only like ten dollars so I would recommend if you want to get a T-Rex family go ahead and pick it up but don't get this before you get the regular T-Rex and yeah that's just kind of my thoughts but of course now this is kind of the T-Rex family I do have over here the repainted Stegoceratops. If you guys would like to see this reviewed, uh, try and get this video to 300 likes and request it in the comments, and I will review this guy for you. One more size comparison real quick. I do have the Allosaurus here, uh, the yellow Allosaurus. So as you can see, they are pretty comparable in size, which they shouldn't be. But for a line like this, um, it's good to have them comparable in size because bashers and biters, they're all going to be generally the same size. So yes, here we go. One last shot with the two T-Rexes together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and have a great day. Whoops, and there goes Rexy.